Hello, welcome to our Friday Cryptic Crossword Masterclass. Now, the more perceptive of you will have noticed that I'm not Simon. I'm Mark, and uh, I'll be trying to take you through today's Times Crossword. Now, when I normally do these puzzles um, on my own, unrecorded, I race through them as fast as I can. Um, and today I will try and go quite a bit slower so that you can understand Firstly, what I'm thinking, and secondly, how the clues and the wordplay works, because that's vital to understanding crosswords, uh, cryptic crosswords. So um, I'm basically just going to fire it up and have a look. I will warn you that I imagine that at some point during this video, I will get a text from Simon reminding me that I'm doing the cryptic masterclass today because he's off on the golf course, so on the south coast. So good luck to him with that. But uh, Really looking forward to giving this a go and uh, taking you through it with me. So, we're going to click on today's Times Cryptic. I've never seen it before. Let's see what we get. Okay, so let's just start in at one across. Further busy folk, including James for one. Okay, and I don't immediately know what's going on there. Further busy doesn't sound like a genuine phrase. So, we need to find the definition at one end or the other. And further seems to be almost the only possibility. But we also need to find short synonyms for words. James? That's tricky. James for one. So maybe it's somebody called James. But the including is inter interesting. That seems a very deliberate operational word. Bees, I suppose, could be busy folk. Yes, there we go. Okay, bees are busy folk. Bit, a bit, it can be a metaphor for somebody who's busy because of busy bees. Um, and further is the definition because I've thought of something I can put inside bees to make a word meaning further. So I'm going to write it in now. Um, the thing I'm putting inside bees is something that means James for one. And in this case, it's Sid James, who, if you're under 50, you won't know Sid James, who was a comic actor from radio in the 40s, 50s, and TV in the 50s and 60s. Originally Australian, acted in all the Carry On movies, had a famous laugh where he would go, <laughs> Um Anyway, acted with Tony Hancock in Hancock's Half Hour. That's how long ago we're talking there. Right, one down. Insect. Well, we've already had bees. Unlikely to be a repeat, but we'll see. Insect note. Crossing line in pursuit of another. Well, intriguingly, we are getting bees in again. So, um, there's a, the another at the end of the clue. What is that referring to? Well... In the surface meaning of the clue, it's referring to the, the first insect mentioned. And indeed, in the actual cryptic reading of the clue, that is what it means as well. So, the two insects I thought of, beginning with a bee, I didn't think of bug, could have done, but I didn't. I thought of bee and beetle, and incredibly they're both involved in this clue. So, insect, note, crossing line. Line can sometimes be an L. So if we were looking at a full answer of beetle, we'd want to put L into the letter string B-E-E-T-E. -E -E. Well, insect could be B, and note, can that be T-E? Well, it can, because in the scale, um, do, re, mi, so far, how can I not remember it? Do, re, mi, so far. Do, re, mi. There's definitely tea, a drink with jam and bread in it. How can I not remember the, the scale in order? Do, re, mi. So far, T la? I don't know. Sorry. Anyway, two down. Polish expert finds fish. Or, are we meant to read that word as Polish? Um, homophones or rather homonyms, can be very tricky in crossword clues and therefore very popular with constructors. Polish, yes, to polish something 
There are various ways of polishing something, but um, one of them is to sand them, and that begins with S and is a short synonym. We're always looking for short synonyms. So, sand, well, I was thinking sand eel, but the last part of the fish the, needs to be an expert, and an eel is not necessarily an expert. However, I have heard of a fish called a dab, uh, or rather, I've heard of a fish called a sand dab, and a dab or a dab hand can be an expert at something. So I think that's the answer. Now, let's look at nine across. County town likens Lenin to rock. Um... Okay, how's your general knowledge here? We're, we're looking for an anagram of Lycan's Lenin. County doesn't have to be in Britain, and indeed this one isn't. There aren't that many countries um, where the counties would be known at all and would definitely have county towns, but this one's in Ireland. So we need an anagram of Lycan's Lenin. That's got to rock, i.e. the letters have to kind of all shift position. And then we will end up with Enniskillen. Well, I mean, which is slightly contentious because it is the county town of Fermanagh, I think. And I apologies to Irish people if I've got that wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's in Northern Ireland. And the official UK districts of Northern Ireland aren't counties, but the traditional um, Irish view of the Northern Irish areas are counties. So there you go. Um, not getting into the politics of it today. Three down. Pretend I'm blessed in action. Hmm. If you... Okay, I, I think I'm getting this now. Yes. I was trying to think of words that mean pretend, that begin with dis. And disguise was the first one I thought of. It was not long enough for nine letters. Um, and then I thought, actually, dis is quite an odd prefix for a pretend word but there was something nagging at me and I eventually came up with dissemble as a word that means to pretend then I started wondering how is that given by the wordplay it's simply an anagram again just like to work in the last clue was an anagram indicator in this one inaction is an anagram indicator and I'm blessed anagrams to dissemble now, four down. Bit of a scary setup on this. I haven't looked at the clue yet, but S blank, I blank, there are probably over a hundred words that would fit that, I reckon. Well, certainly getting on for a hundred. So, if we can't get a handle on the clue, this could be tough. Dispatch poverty, not difficult. Well, dispatch. Dispatch can be spelt. This is an interesting note for a real knowledge bomb with either an I or an E in either meaning. So we don't get anything necessarily from the spelling of dispatch here. It can mean to send, to kill. Uh, it can mean haste. Dispatch can mean um, to, to get rid of, to deal with, to finish off. And I don't know what it means here, so I'm going to have to look at the other bit. Poverty, not difficult. Yeah, well, that's taken a while. I have got it now, but um, you need synonyms for poverty. Not difficult suggests that we're going to have to remove a synonym for difficult. Now, there aren't that many synonyms for difficult. And always looking for short ones. The first one that comes to mind is hard. Is there a word for poverty with hard in it? And what I've thought of now is hardship. Took me, a, took me a few moments. If we take out hard from hardship, we'll be left with ship. How can that mean dispatch? A dispatch isn't a type of ship. No, but to ship, as Amazon do every day, is to dispatch. So there we go. Let's have a look at 11 across. Again, we've got all the letters. Much less scary. I mean, there's only a few words that could possibly fit here. I'm thinking ladies, ladder, ledges, lodger. I mean, there's some, but let's see what the clue says. Boy with odd bits of ideas where girls may go. And that's very straightforward with all these letters given. So a boy can be a lad. There's our short synonym. We're always looking for one of those. Odd bits of ideas. That is a very specific. If you've never come across it before, that's quite hard to interpret. If you've ever done a crossword and seen odd bits of something before, that is absolutely straightforward because the odd 
placed letters in ideas are I, E, S. So if we put those with lad, we get ladies. Now you might think ladies is being defined as girls. It's not. This is where girls may go because ladies is a, a British term for a, a toilet. A ladies toilet can be called the ladies. Um, and that's where girls may go in the sense of do their business. 14 across. Job done en bloc by us and our shift. Well, that looks like an anagram. Um, however, I was first of all thinking en bloc by us and our. That might be too many letters for a 13 letter entry. Actually, no, I think it's right. Okay, so I think the letters of en bloc by us and our are shifting. And this is, this is just a classic as we've seen several times already in this puzzle, it's a use mention disti distinction. Um, we're used to reading sentences and interpreting what the words mean. In this one, that's fine, apart from the words en bloc by us and the word our, because there we're just using the letter strings. We're not, we're, they're mentioning these, let these words, they're not using them. So we want a job or a job done, and we've got an anagram of en bloc by us and our. So this doesn't have an A in it, and therefore this doesn't begin baby or babe, which I was kind of expecting. Bob. Bob's your uncle. Job done. That's very nice. Job done and Bob's your uncle are both phrases used to express, there, I've done it. Um, and it's a lovely colloquial phrase. Um, some people say it came from Robert Peel, I think, one of the early Prime Ministers of Britain. But anyway. Five down. Case. Not the first to pursue small fiends. Um, I don't know what's going on here. Small fiends? I'm thinking imps, but they don't really fit in the clue. Case. Not the first. There's quite a few definitions or, or examples of case. Removing the letter from that. So, yeah, maybe maybe the whole definition is fiends. We start with a word small, and that's pursued by a word for case, but not the first. Well, we're going to have to come back to that, because I don't know what to do. I mean, that's a very plausible syntax or parsing of the clue, but I don't know how to use it. Six down. British language not appearing initially in house. Right, yeah, okay, house, it's been given a capital letter there to appear as though it's the, how, it's the House of Commons or something like that. Um, but house has a very odd definition that is not to house or referring to an actual house. It can be the game of lotto or bingo, and therefore... This break that use suits the end that we've got in the grid. And if British can be abbreviated to B, it can. Then we need to make Ingo language not appearing initially. Well, language can be lingo. And if that's not appearing initially, it's bingo. So there we go. Bingo, we've got one. Seven down. When French director once caught changing. I don't even understand the surface reading of that. When French director once caught changing. I suppose it kind of implies when someone was a French director once, they were caught changing. I don't know. It's a bit odd. Anyway, um, what can we do with that? When French. Sometimes when you see French in a word, in a clue, it's worth translating the previous word into French. Uh, for some reason, British people are expected to know quite a lot of French vocabulary because it was the main language taught to people my age. But the, f the f French for when is quand, Q-U-A-N-D. I don't think there are many synonyms for that. Or other versions of when in French. So, and quand would, you know, it would go into the word quandary, but... It wouldn't go into other words, and it certainly wouldn't go into this space. So I think I'm off beam there. I don't know. I mean, I was pondering anagramming DR for director, once, and C for court, which is a cricket abbreviation. 
changing is normally a very clear anagram indicator. I mean, it's there's a fair chance I won't know a French director. No, but it can't be a French director. Because when is it just in the wrong place here for that to be the definition? Interesting. Um, changing might be the definition if elastic or amoebic or proteic could be changing. Don't know. Let's have a look at eight down. So this top right seems to be the tough area for me. Arguably, one proving journalist is clean. So arguably suggests that you could interpret this word as somebody proving something. Um, but it shouldn't really be read that way. That's what I'm guessing from arguably. Journalist is clean. So a journalist is often Ed, the editor of a newspaper, because he's the most senior journalist. Journalist is clean. No, I don't know what's going on there. So all of those three long downs not helping me. Let's look at five across. That's disgusting about getting fingerprints on Jim Jams. Wow, this is weird. OK, I don't know what's going on here either. That's disgusting could be um, yuck or ugh, U-G-H, or something like that. Now, fingerprints, the only short synonym I know for fingerprints is dabs. We've had dab already in a puzzle. Um, and Jim Jams, they're pyjamas, so that could be abbreviated to PJs, but that's an extremely unhelpful letter string. And I don't know what's going on here. I'm going to look at 12 across instead. R really need a breakthrough in this area. Valve casing in triumph, dry in part. Valve casing. I don't like the idea that that could be the letters VE, the casing of valve, because I don't think it's clear enough, but it's possible. Now, triumph, that can be win, surely. That's a great short synonym. But dry in part. And if the whole answer is meant to be a valve casing, well, my motor knowledge is almost certainly letting me down, because I don't know that. No, nope, don't know what's going on there either. This is getting very tough, this section. I'm going to have a look at this three-letter, un no unchecked letters, uh, uh, sorry, no checked letters yet. Couple wanting anything from Yorkshire in retirement. I can do that. There's a, there's a word for anything that's generally only used in Yorkshire, which is out. You don't get out for out. And if you put that in retirement, i.e. backwards, you get the word two, which is a couple. So I'm going to have a very quick look at seven down again. When French director once caught changing. I'm trying to think. I mean, there are some famous French film directors. Truffaut and who else? Do they end in C? That can be an ending for French names like Poulenc, um, Leblanc, but well, I don't know. And arguably one proving journalist is clean. Oh, maybe clean is the definition. Yeah, that's, that is almost certainly true. So, unsoiled or something, but why, that doesn't work with the O there, but clean. One proving. Showered. Clean. If you're showered, you're clean. And one proving is a shower. And then Ed is journalist. Okay, well that's something, but S and E are not the letters that I wanted to guide these thinking, the thinking on these clues across. That's disgusting about getting fingerprints on Jim Jams. This is such an odd clue to me. Like, what can Jim Jams be? Well, Jim Jams is, okay, Jim Jams is the definition, but pyjamas doesn't fit, and that couldn't have been Jingo at six down. Um, fingerprints. Oh, dabs, okay. Yes. 
So we're putting dabs around the outside, and dab is repeated just as B was in the puzzle, which is quite strange. But Jim Jams, maybe that's got a different meaning from pyjamas. Maybe if you get the screaming heebie-jeebies, those are also Jim Jams or Dib Dabs. That's disgusting about... I don't know, it's some... I, uh, I'm sort of thinking along the lines of Dib Dabs or something like that. I mean, I don't know what's going on. We're going to have to come back to that. Basically, I'm going to have to get this letter from the long across clue. Hope it contributes to five down. Or maybe just wait and rethink before getting back into that corner. So, let's have a look at 13 down. Something why to begin with. By or my spring to mind. Crikey. Well, that makes me think my. Large commercial interrupting fine heavenly musical. Well, I know a musical beginning with my that fits this letter pattern. Um, and large commercial can be L for large, ad for commercial. And I think that's great. We're going to get my fair lady by putting L ad into F airy, fine F airy heavenly after my, and that's what we get. Now, 17 across looks like the middle word would be and, maybe all. Spread nap out in hide streaked with grey. Right, I do know a good phrase for this. If your hair is streaked with grey, there's an old phrase called pepper and salt. Um, and that will work with an anagram of spread nap in the word pelt, which can be a hide because they can both mean an animal skin. Now, let's, let's not hang around. Let's look at this D. Now, I have thought my brain has leapt to the bizarre word Salma Gundy, which I think means a kind of a miscellany of things or maybe somewhere where you put such things. But I don't think it's right, actually. I thought maybe if I could just pull this out of the air, that would be a useful start. There is a word, Salma Gundy. It fits here, and I don't think it's right. So I'm now... Th OK, let's go back to the idea that fiends is the answer. Right. Hounds. Hellhounds. That would fit. Case could be shell, without the first is hell, to pursue is to hound, s is small in the times crossword. And there we go, hellhounds. Now, I see I'm still thinking habdabs. Abdabs is definitely a word, maybe habdabs. Bar could be that's disgusting. Yes, it is habdabs. Now, I did not know that word before doing this puzzle. I have heard of abdabs and maybe even the screaming abdabs. How that means Jim Jams, I don't quite know. Is that, could abdabs possibly mean pajamas or are Jim Jams and abdabs both a kind of fit of panic? I don't know, but we're there now because we've got bar going backwards. That's disgusting turned about and the dabs are fingerprints, crime slang. Right, seven down. You see, this is weird. Auteur is a French word for a film director, author. Auteuil, I think, might be a film director, but that doesn't fit. We've got a definite C at the end of this. I don't know a word that fits here. When French... OK, when can be as, A-S... French director once. Oh, OK. Tati, Jacques Tati, used to direct comedy films and star in them. Long ago. I mean, again, this is from the era when Sid James was popular. It's so hard when the Times is telling you to think of people famous 80 years ago. Right, but that is it. So we're left with as Tati and then C for court. It's just a charade clue. You just put the elements together one after the other. And changing is therefore this word that I didn't really know, a static. 
which, I mean, from the Greek, static means still, and a means not. So astatic must mean changing, not still. Right, now here I can see throttle would fit, and that's quite useful, even though the triumph in the clue, I think, is not... is not... well, I don't know. Valve casing might be throttle. I don't know. I mean, I think of the throttle as an accelerator in a car. I'm trying to work out why this is throttle. I would probably fill it in in a puzzle and just move on without really understanding it if I was in a competition. But, ah, the casing in Triumph is TH, the, the outside of it. Right. Then we put TT, teetotaler, dry, in roll, which can be a theatrical part, and we get throttle, which must therefore be defined as a valve. Amazing. Didn't know that. 15 down. <laughs> Istanbul, releasing first, unusual list around capital. We well, asked how's your general knowledge earlier on Enniskillen. And this time we need a world capital that fits this pattern. And because I have bothered to try and learn all the word capital, world capitals and finish Sporkle's world capital test in 20 minutes or whatever it is, I know that Ulan Bator is one of them. Now, it, it's got a more modern spelling than I think they're using here because now it's spelled U-L-A-N-B-A-T-A-R. But I think this compiler sees it as spelt that way, and it may still be able to be spelt that way. Now we're getting Istanbul releasing first unusual. Ah, I see first the first that Istanbul is releasing is I S T one S T, which looks like first. So that then Anbul becomes unusual and you get Ulan B, that's an anagram indicator. Then you get a list around, which is a rotor, and you're left with Ulan Bartor. That's quite tough. 16 down. Gym shoes picked up European variant of flu. You'd get this from spitting. Well, variant of flu is making me think of an anagram of that, which would be full. Spiteful? But gym shoes... I'm thinking pumps as an old word for gym shoes. Sneakers or trainers. But it could be just PE for gym. What would you get from spitting? You wouldn't get spiteful, or would you? No, I don't know. I think it ends in EFUL, but I haven't got that. 18 down, Basque sport curtailed in contact with pack from another. How's your general knowledge today? There is a Basque sport that is a bit like fives or squash called pelota, where you hit the ball with a gloved hand. And thank goodness I know that, because I can take, it or take off the last letter to curtail it. In contact with can be on. And then we get the pack from another sport, which is cycling. Peloton, and there are many famous Basque cyclists who've been in the Peloton of the Tour de France. Uh, and I would name one if I could, but I'm not going to. 19 down. University, primarily for effect, pursuing biting hypocrite. Hmm. University is always U or uni, I think. Sometimes OU for Oxford University, weirdly. Primarily for effect and pursuing... Gosh, Tartuffe is a play by Molière. Now, in the spelling of the play by Molière, there's two Fs. But I think this has come into the English language. Or maybe Molière was using a word that already existed for a hypocrite. Tartuffe. And I'm going to spell it with one F this time. And I'm seeing biting as tart there, U for university, and primarily for effect is giving us the letters, the primary letters in for effect, F-E. There are some hard words in this. There really are. This is a really tough test this Friday. Right, 21 across. Slow conservative hotline may be deleting its first answer. 
dilatory for slow. That would work quite well. I mean, that's just me seeing this letter and thinking about the word slow. Tory for conservative, that's pretty solid. Conservative can sometimes be C, but I think, or con, but I think here it's Tory. And then hotline may be deleting its first answer. The trouble is, why is... Oh, I see. Yes, I was wondering why conservative appeared first in the word play. But we're meant to actually take conservative hotline maybe and consider that that might be dialatory, as if that was a service. And then you delete the first A equals answer is the... So you delete the first letter A in dialatory, which is a lovely idea. Very good conception there. Right, I'm going to move on to 23 across. Satellite towns regularly visited east of Gong River. My goodness, how is your general knowledge? I don't know where the Gong River is. I suggest, I suspect it's in Southeast Asia. But satellite towns, suburbs or burbs, and there are slurbs, there are various portmanteaus. I don't know what the answer to this is, actually. Um, but satellite could be a moon of some planet. Towns regularly visited. Could be the regular letters in towns. O-N, Oberon. That is a moon of some planet. Probably Jupiter. O-N is towns regularly. Gong is O-B-E. Wow. Which is a, a medal you can get. The Order of the British Empire. And river is R. And there we go. That's not easy. Thick part of disc. Fat could be thick. I don't know why that would be part of disc. What parts can a disc have? I suppose a record can have side A and side B. No, don't know what we're getting there. Let's try this long one, 26 across. Experts using second-rate checks tied up when caught. <clears throat> right. When caught, I've suggested that caught can mean C, and we've had that already. But it can also mean if you hear something, you catch it. So we can, it can be a homophone indicator, especially in this form, when caught. So I think we're looking for experts. Second rate can be B. And checks. Right. So I've, I've worked, given the B that I thought of, I've worked out the answer. And I'm going to tell you that to check something can be to rein it, R-E-I-N, to rein it in. And tied up can be trussed, like a turkey. And if you hear reins trust after B, you get brains trust, which is a sort of a panel of experts, potentially. Right, tedious stretch before 4th of July. Um, the 4th of July can be the 4th letter of July, and that looks appropriate from the last letter we have in this entry. So I think a stretch could just be a length, and if something is lengthy, it's naturally tedious. Uh, one pressing to stop extremely smarmy MPs consultation. Well, if your Member of Parliament holds an office where he consults with his constituents, it's called a surgery, just like for a doctor. One pressing can be an urger, and the ex if you look at smarmy extremely, i.e. you take only the extremes of it, you get S and Y. Put urger in that, and we have this surgery. Right, we go back down to... There's Simon's message probably reminding me to... Uh, no, it's not Simon. It was somebody else. I thought it would be reminding me to do this puzzle. Right, this looks like it has to be spadeful now, if I want it to end in full. You'd get this from spitting. Can, oh, to spit can be to dig with a spade, I think. That's quite rare. I think that is the case. And gym shoes can be daps. And I, that word hasn't been used for about 80 years either. I mean, that is really tough. 20 down. Rowan, e.g., may be so difficult. Well, knotty will fit, and that means difficult. And I suppose a rowan tree... Um, 
is a blackthorn tree. That is quite a hard, gnarly tree, so it can have lots of uh, knots in the wood or in the, in the tree itself. Wow, I mean, again, general knowledge. 22 down. New Year Abroad, touring centre of prohibited region. Well, Tet is the um, Southeast Asian New Year Festival. Now, that is familiar to crossword solvers because it's such a useful phrase. And indeed, American crosswords feature it quite a lot as well. Um, so, Tet, touring centre of prohibited. Well, by now we know that we're looking at the centre of the word prohibited. And that's the w letters I, B. So we get Tibet, which is the region. Oh, carefully not called a country here. And uh, I'm not getting into the politics. 24 down. Burden at the expense of the times. One of the easiest clues. Last one I've looked at. A burden is an onus, and that's on us, because this is the times crossword we're doing. So something at our expense is on us, the times. So thick part of disc. This has to be fat. From the definition thick. Why is fat part of a disc? Do I know that? Part of disc. I mean fit also has a lot of meanings and would fit here, ha ha, but no I don't understand that. I think it has to be fat. It's not to do with discs in your spinal column. It can't be. Part of disc. F-A-T. Well, I'm going for this. I'm submitting it. Um, we'll have a look at what Verlaine's time has been. Let's, let's just see that it's correct, first of all. Verlaine is somebody I would measure myself as... OK, fat was right. That's good. Everything else is right, unsurprisingly. Even the words I haven't heard of, like... Hab dabs and uh, a static and tartuffe with one F. But there we go. I'm going to look up some of these in a moment. Now, let's see. I've just got into the top 100 with that time. I would have expected to do this. Now, Verlaine took 9.32. That is an indication of how hard this is. That is... Um, I don't know if John McCabe's times are genuine. They, they could well be 6.22. Sometimes he records extraordinary times. Andy Fisher, 7.32, very good time. Richard, I think, is genuine as well. They're probably all fairly genuine after Verlaine. But for, for Matthew Marcus to take nine and a half minutes over a puzzle, it's pretty hard. I think I'd have done this in eight or nine minutes because I did actually... The, the top right was clearly difficult. The... I was reasonably quick to get Bob's Your Uncle and Pepper and Salt. My interpretation of most of the clues, I mean, I knew Tartuffe meant something like that. So what I'm going to do is actually quickly nip into the dictionary and we will, let me just see if I can bring that to the front. Here we go. And we will just look at some of the words like Tartuffe. So it can be spelt with two F's or one F from the title character in Molière's Tartuffe, a hypocritical person, person who pretends to be deeply religious. Um, then, habdabs. Let's have a look at that because I'm amused by that. I know it can be abdabs. Habdabs, inf informal, a state of extreme nervousness, also abdabs and the screaming habdabs. Um, fabulous stuff. Now, what else was there? Spitting. For spadeful. I really wasn't entirely sure about that, but spit one, that's not the one we're looking for. Spit two, well, that's like the spit you roast meat on, and you can spit something by transfixing it. But spit three, to dig, to plant with a spade. In fact, a spit is a spadeful, so it could even have just been defined as spit, and I wouldn't have known that. Um, anything else we needed to look up? Hellhound sand up. A static. I mean, I'm happy enough that a static is a word that means changing. Let's just see what Chambers says about it. Having no tendency to stand in a fixed position or without polarity. Um, might be useful for Sudoku videos. 
And that's the things I think we needed to check. Um, I don't think Chambers will tell me which planet Oberon is a moon of, but you will in the comments. It only tells me that Oberon is king of the fairies, husband of Titania. Oh, fat. Why is fat part of disc? Somebody's going to have to tell me that. There we go. Fat, computing, FAT, file allocation table, part of a disk with a K, giving information about the location of its files. <sighs> I didn't know that. Well done if you did. And well done if you got that clue instantly as a result. Tough puzzle today. Very interesting. Good one to do on the channel. And uh, thank you for watching, as always. Hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.